Hello friends in this tutorial we are going to learn one more bootstrap plugin which will be very useful in web development. In this video we have learned how to use bootstrap select plugin within a form and how to submit value multiple select box by using PHP with Ajax jQuery. Bootstrap Select is one jQuery plugin which uses Bootstrap drop-down JavaScript for style and adds some additional feature to standard HTML select element. By using this plugin we can select multiple option in HTML select element. In this video we will learn how to activate this plugin on HTML select element to make stylish multiple select element and how to submit value of this plugin activated select box by using Ajax jQuery with PHP. Now let's start learning this topic. This is our testing database and in this we have one table like table with two column like it and framework. We will insert multiple select element value under this table. This is our index page and on this page we have include JavaScript library link, bootstrap library link and for use bootstrap select plugin we have include this fourth and fifth URL which is required to use bootstrap select plugin functionality on this page. Now we have moved to write HTML code to make one simple form, so we have write form tag with attribute method is equal to post it is equal to multiple select form. Under this form we want to define on select tag to select multiple item from list, so we have write select tag with attribute name is equal to framework it is equal to framework class is equal to select picker and here we have add one attribute multiple. Here we have write class is equal to select picker which is in class of bootstrap select plugin. This plugin will use this class select picker as selector on this element and it will activate this plugin on this element based on this class and by this multiple attribute we can select multiple item from this select tag. Now under this select tag we have write different option like framework name Laravel, Symphony, Code Igniter. Cake of Zant, slim with value. So here we have defined this different option under this select tag. After this, we want to define one submit button to submit form with this select tag value. So we have write input type is equal to submit with attribute name is equal to submit and value is equal to submit. So when we have click on this button, then we can submit this form with select tag value. Now we have moved to write jQuery code to activate bootstrap select plugin on select tag with class is equal to select picker. So we have write dollar with select tag class is equal to select picker with select picker method. By this method we can activate bootstrap select plugin on framework select tag. We have saved this code on checkout put in browser. Friends here you can see one select box and one submit button when we have click on select box then we can see list of framework name and we can select multiple framework with check sign. By this bootstrap select plugin can select multiple option from this list of option under select box. Under this select box we can also put search box also when there are large number of option under select tag. So we have go to our index page and under select tag we have append one data attribute with name live search is equal to true. By this data live search attribute is equal to true attribute activate search text box under select tag which on which we have activate bootstrap select plugin. So we have saved this code on check output in browser. Friends you can see that we have first refresh page and now you can see here search text box has been appear with select option tag and we can search option by writing query under this search box. So if you have large amount option then you can also put search option also under your select tag.
Now we want to submit value of this select tag on which we have activate bootstrap select plugin, so we have go to query code and here we have write dollar with form mid multiple select form with on method and under this method we have write submit event with function with event argument. So when form has been submitted this code will execute and under this first we have write event dot prevent default method. This method has been stopped to submit form to server. After this we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar with select box and the framework with value is not equal to blank. Here this condition will check if the this framework select box has some value then it will execute if block otherwise it will execute else block. Suppose we have not select option from framework select box then it will execute else block and under this block we have write alert message like please select framework and return false statement. This message will be pop up if we have directly click on submit button without selecting option from framework select box. But suppose we have select option from framework select box then it will execute if block of code and under this we have write variable form data is equal to dollar this with serialized method. This method will convert form element value into URL and code and store into form data variable. After this we have write ajax method and under this we have write first option URL set to insert .php. Here we have send requested to this insert.php page. In second option we have write post method, we have used post method for send form data to server. In third option we have write data option under this option we can define which data we want send to server so here we have write form data variable in which we have store form data. Lastly we have write success callback function. This function has been called if request completed successfully and this function has received data from server. Under this function first we want to check which value of select framework has been passed because we have select multiple value from list of options so under this function we have write console.log data. Now we have moved to write code in insert.php page and here we have write echo statement with dollar post select box name framework and we have saved this code on checkout put in browser. Friends you can see that, when we have direct click on submit button then it pop up alert message like select framework, so we have select three framework like Laravel, Symfony and Code Igniter and click on submit button. After clicking on submit button you can see in console window can see only code in iter framework game, but we have select three framework but it display name of last framework which we have select from list of option. So we have go to index page and above this submit button we have define one hidden field like input type is equal to hidden with attribute name is equal to hidden framework and it is equal to hidden framework. We will store multiple select option value under this hidden field. For storing multiple select option value under this hidden field we have go to query code and here we have write dollar with select tag id framework with change method with function. So when we have select option from framework select box then this code will execute. Under this we have write dollar with hidden field did hidden framework with value method and under this method we have write dollar with select box id framework with value method. So here when we have select option from select box with id framework then this select box value has been stored into this hidden fields and at server side we can access this hidden field value which is the value of multiple select box. So now we have go to insert.php page and here we have write echo statement with dollar post hidden framework variable and save this code and check output. Here friends we have select three framework like Laravel, 
Symphony and Code Igniter and click on Submit button. After clicking on Submit button we can see result in console window. Here we can see Code Igniter as the value dollar $Post Framework Variable Value and Laravel. Symphony and Code Igniter as the value of dollar $Post Hidden Framework Variable. So this way we can access the value of multiple select box of Bootstrap Select Plugin. Now we have go to index page query ajax success function and here after submit a form we want to clear hidden framework field values so we have write dollar with it hidden framework with value method and under this method we have write blank value. This code will clear hidden field value. Then after we want to clear the value of multiple select box, so we have write dollar with class select picker with select picker method with two argument in first argument we have write value method and in second argument we have write blank value. So this code will clear value of multiple select box after form submission. Lastly we want to pop alert message of data which it will receive from server side. So we have write alert tag with data, this will pop up alert message on web page. Now we have moved to write PHP code on insert.php page. So on this page first we have make database connection so we have write dollar connect variable is equal to miscly connect function with four argument like host name set to localhost, user name set to root, password set to blank and database name set to testing. After making database connection we have write dollar query variable is equal to insert into light table with column like framework and value like dollar post hidden framework variable. This is insert data query. Now we want to execute this query, so we have write of statement and under condition we have write miscly query function with two argument. In first argument we have write dollar connect variable and in second argument we have write dollar query variable. If query successfully execute then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write echo statement with text message like data inserted. So our code ready regarding how to use bootstrap select plugin with form and how to send it value to server side by using PHP with Ajax query. So we have saved this code on check output in browser. Friends you can see here one select box and one submit button. So we have click on select box and select three framework and click on submit button. After clicking on submit button we have received data inserted message has been pop up on web page. Now we want to check which value has been submitted into table. So in table you can see Laravel. Symphony and Code Igniter framework name in text format, so this type of value has been inserted into table. So way we can use bootstrap select plugin with select box with functionality of multiple select option and how to submit value of this multiple select box by using Ajax query with PHP. This plugin has been used if you want to assign user to select multiple option from select box then you have to use this plugin to activate multiple select option with selection of multiple option. If you have any query regarding on this video tutorial, please comment your query in comment box. If you have liked this video tutorial, please share this video with your friends. Lastly, if you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial please subscribe our YouTube channel for update regarding future video. Thank you for watching this video we will meet in next video.